Welcome back folks! I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I have a pleasure to uh, feature a, a ship that I actually did not feature. I don't believe I feature ever this ship. Kind of shame of me. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. And now something very important. This video is dedicated to one of my two beloved subscribers and I'll tell him exactly. Scott Hill Thank you very much. You're so nice and kind. You always put a comment. You always see my uh, watch my videos. Thank you. John Steele, the same. My favorite cruiser, John uh, Steele said, it's the Fiji and Helena. And now we have a huge pleasure to watch this awesome captain from EU. And his name is Just Do It Later. Very easy to remember his name. Just do it later. But let's do it today and right now. Uh, Helena, the tier 7 US light cruiser, she does have a lot of guns, that's for them, sure, and probably because of the guns layout, I believe, guys, you have most guns than any other tier 7, no, you will even be the Miyoko for crying out loud, oh wait, of course, the downside of this ship must be very unfortunate. It's her range, only 14.6. It's kind of a meh. But on the other hand, your concealment, it's 10.4. Even the Fiji has around the same concealment. So you and Fiji has the best tier 7 non-premium ships. I'm not talking about Atlanta and I'm not talking about Belfast. Because Belfast's uh, oopiness, it's actually one of her strength. It's the concealment. It has stupid low concealment. But because of that stupid... Uh... Okay, now this uh, uh, map, it's Haven. And there's a destroyer. Very nice from this Akatsuki put the smoke. Now, he thanks to this uh, destroyer captain who put the smoke for this captain. Ooh, this amount of firepower. Holy Kabarovs, guys. Wow, 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 I am amazed. Damn, I have to purchase this ship. Zera, have you been drink? And I'm serious, guys. I'm, I'm not saying... I I actually stopped playing the light cruiser of some strange reason. I have Cleveland, but I don't play her ever. Not even once game I played her when she was removed from tier 6 from to tier 8. But man, this is a monster! Just look at this firepower! Ooh, it's close to Smolensk's firepower! She's only tier 7, remember that, guys. Once again, her limitation, it's all about, like, this captain. He's inside the smoke. Penalty in the smoke, it's not bad, because you have lower caliber of guns. Probably, I'm just saying, as low as the Belfast or Fiji's uh, uh, penalty in smoke, which is around 5.8, 5.9, which is pretty good versus the Italian one, which has stupid big bloom, you know what I mean? And there's the destroyer. I definitely would like to see this captain, uh, not do it later, do it right now, uh, uh, focus that, uh, uh, the destroyer. Well, someone actually took her, it was T-22, took the Fubuki. Now, uh, guys, this is, he's a top dog, so keep that, uh, uh, remember, even though Helena, I do believe that she's great ship, she is awesome in DPM, she fulfills actually a role of a cruiser, the downside is this stupid matchmaking, when you're versus tier 9 cruiser, you're screwed big time, thanks to the, um, uh, the range, the range is absolute a factor, guys, your detection is... Uh, 10 points uh, 4 and your maximum range are 14 you know what I mean so yeah 14.4 or something so it's it's rough guys it's not crazy a lot um, of course you may argue that your friend are islands and if there's a map with islands it's oh, it's okay then you can do pretty good significant job uh, to do damage however However, I still believe if you are playing in the map without island, then it's a big of a challenge because uh, open water Cleveland on open water Helena, it's a doomed. 
uh, you don't have armor, you don't have heal, you don't have nothing. But man, this share of amount of firepower and pretty good significant chance to put your enemy on fire. I know they are lazy and uh, even though probably if she will receive a little bit more buff, you kind of a struggle to hit anything more than 14 kilometers. That's, that's the truth. On the other hand, I still believe, guys, that Helena is one of the strongest tier 7 cruisers together with uh, Fiji. I'm not talking about the premium one uh, cruiser, I'm just saying regular tier 3. Because oh, you guys know that Belfast is still most broken. And also because of the pretty significant firepower and the DPM, it's crazy high. So that's the uh, fire number five, guys. In this play, replay, thanks to the matchmaking, you see, he was easy to just uh, shoot anyone far because you have this lazy uh, US shells that, you know, you can stay behind an island and no problem whatsoever to hit your enemy. He literally abused this small island and also a little bit help there the friendly destroy put some good looking smoke so nobody from this side from the right side or from the lax, uh, last, uh, <laughs> the left side <laughs> can spot this captain and this is the way you're supposed to play with Cleveland and Helena behind an island hug the island and same story with uh, Atlanta uh, and the enemy need to come to you because if the enemy are let's say more than 30 kilometers or 14 kilometers away from you you struggle a lot to hit your enemy over here a very good choice from this captain he knows exactly what he's doing when a cruiser open up and showing you perfect broadside you always all go for the uh, AP US AP are not a joke guys US AP will hurt but on the other hand if the target slightly moves, it takes so much time for the shells to uh, connect to the target that it's easy to avoid. And probably the best um, targets are slow battleships, you know what I mean. Uh, pretty good uh, damage, not crazy, but definitely good. I would like to say, guys, without saying too much, a cruiser's DPM is everything. A cruiser who can defend your team from AA and deal very good with destroyers are a must. Like the Italian cruiser, for instance, they do deal big damage to the destroyers, but you're never gonna kill them fast. In that regards, you have faster chance that you delete a cruiser with Helena thanks to the um, sheer amount of guns and reload um, and you have hydro and you have a defense so you have uh, quite significant good tools for a cruiser of course you are squishy of course you don't have a lot of HP pool of course your range it's mediocre at the best but I do honestly believe that this captain abused this small island to max Bayern's pushing him and he is not being seen. Absolutely ridiculous. He played for 9 minutes and he instantly opened fire. Non-stop open fire, non-stop open fire. And nobody was shooting because he has, after all, full HP. But you see there's quite a few enemy ships at 17, 18 kilometers away and this captain cannot touch. He can only touch high caliber surf, uh, by the way. The uh, the people who's trying to push in, the friendly team, uh, they flipped C and B and they are slightly ahead of points, however, However, I still believe that friendly team can, uh, foot, uh, you know, throw this game away because, you know, they die like flies, you know, literally. Uh, this friendly team are way behind uh, ships, literally the ships. At this low tier, when you're facing a lot of tier 5 ships, the most frustration is that, guys, it's so freaking one side, it's not even fun. There are 
very few people at tier 5 who knows to play the game just seal clubbers but the guys who probably are new within this game they don't know what to do when to do when to push when to stop when to defend when to cap and stuff like that so this is obvious the downside okay another fire and that's the fire number 10 guys the Bayern losing HP Ooh, that was pretty good uh, salvo guys without saying too much 123 damage guys so far sure you have small caliber of guns but you have guys more firepower than a Cleveland for crying out loud absolutely ridiculous um, so yeah now even though they are behind ships the enemy doing the enemy team they also doing something wrong because now just now after 11 minutes exactly 11 minutes they try to push C and of course capping it's winning the game don't don't ever forget that if you have in a team I know Bayern's trying and there's three enemy ships they got uh, heavily focused by the friendly team who actually they try to cap this cap I'm talking about B Bravo but they didn't manage because they all died but guys this is not over yet because uh, the thing is there's a lot of uh, work to be done and this 124,000 damage which is great number we just started but many thanks to once again the the uh, the unexperienced players who's charging a smoke or charging a cap and there's uh, Helena behind one very good looking Ireland who's maximum and this actually someone else is spotting for the team because the destroyer it's in beside the smoke and he has very low HP and Gorizia killed the T22 I do believe that he got spotted and he, and he got nuked and guys just suddenly it's three versus four now it's different story because we have no more DD to spot for you and he cannot uh, this captain cannot stay behind the island anymore but on the other hand Koenigs also have a uh, charge in very healthy very healthy uh, cruiser and the dpm of Koenig and Nurbert it's not a joke they have one of the best dpm of any tier 5 and tier 6 ships so keep that man the only downside with the Koenig and Nurbert they have most firepower in the rear and confederates done uh, Gorizia is also over there so he received a huge damn hit two more fires to that Koenig and he using the AP which was sad for him he, if that solo was HE this captain will be crippled he took the guns from the Koenig and he has very little firepower maybe he will repair but I do believe the fires he had two fires so yeah even though the Koenig it's not a bad DPM machine it's pretty nifty uh, you still gonna lose in one versus one versus Helena because two tier higher than you you know what I mean but he had support so he was never fired alone he was at least this G tier 7 Gorizia which uh, guys it's not bad matter of fact it's pretty strong versus anything with light armor Gorizia can do whopping damage if they will hit a soft target Koenigsberg it's also charging him guys now I really feel sorry for this uh, captain because the the friendly team they collapsed the L every single one of them they died beside one and now it's two versus two guys and that it's a broken strong uh, battleship with large of HP pool he has a little bit too much of a HP pool to uh, go down even though this captain has amazing 321 uh, hits which show you the potent of this ship and also guys 15 fires that it's a lot 16 I apologize 16 uh, caps and uh, uh, 18 uh, hits which 
you have the the green you know 19 uh, you reset the cap when someone is trying to cap and that it's 19 points 20 points resetting uh, he abused this island fantastic uh, but if friendly uh, Duke of York is going down then he will have no more vision so guys literally what happened is that the enemy uh, Italian cruiser instead of helping this Duke of York he went I don't know where but the Duke of York guys it's a tier 7 for crying loud, loud with a crazy 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 he spam and protection you'll put every single time every single salvo uh, enemy on fire that it's a uh, fire number 18 but how long do you think the the friendly uh, battleship can last that's one million dollar question iron duke ouch they are so damn close both of them and they both fire h into each other the best who has the best aim will win that engagement now this captain really need to do some very fast because he will be very soon two versus one and it could be only one way oh this is so close guys oh i really feel sorry for this captain and there the duke of uh, the, the last friendly uh, ship went down but the problem is this guys that he still survived barely but he still survived and that is bad news guys he disappeared for for uh, a moment and now just this gorizia showing up a little bit too late for the party but the tr what i'm trying to say it's that it's still enough to this captain receive probably a huge uh, salvo from the enemy battleships oh this is bad guys i really feel sorry for this captain 191,000 damage and probably it's not enough Ooh, that was a close ouch so it's two versus one now yeah i i honestly believe guys that sometimes sometimes no matter how good you are no matter how many kills how many fires you put how many hits how many high caliber and gone feather you do sometimes it's still not enough to win for the game and even if you just go away and get the hell out of there there's someone who's um, capping d very low hp i wish that this captain had uh, battle luck to kill the enemy uh, battleship but it's not gonna happen matter of fact duke of york has great opportunity to nuke this captain because he's a he spam all it takes is two good looking shells or ap shells or whatever he does have 10 guns don't get me wrong and ooh, 300 HP pool left and that's the shells guys sometimes even though you do crazy good amount of damage but sometimes it's not good enough so let me know in a comment below what you think about the Helena and I always read your comment uh, please subscribe to my channel put a comment and give a like or dislike i appreciate it have a good one take care and bye